Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this video is going to be part two about this H-Bridge alternative. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen this video, I'd suggest watching the previous one first. So, um, what I did here was I connected the output um, through the yellow to a full bridge rectifier and then back to my capacitor dump system. Um, just a brief overview, it has two optical timings with the cutouts as the on time, so on, off, on, and um, then we have two circuits. Um, I actually switched out the MOSFETs for insulated gate bipolar transistors that seem to work pretty well. Um, then I have my typical Adreno pulse width modulator for speed control. And um, so I'm not using this one actually because um, this coil, mm -hmm. um, for those of you who haven't seen it, that actually has three wires in it. So we have two power wires and then one output wire and then two go to this one and two go to this one in the circuit. So they fire like an H bridge, one on one polarity, one on the other polarity. So it makes a real simple um, alternative to an H bridge um, that could be quite complicated and when you're testing pulse motors they seem to um, blow up the chips a lot, explode everywhere, go through a lot of money. So this is just a simple alternative if you don't mind putting a little extra wire on your coil. So um, I have the output hooked up to the same battery as the input because our output is uh, isolated from the primaries. So I go through here, this will show the pulse amperage and then this meter will show you the positive usage and then the negative um, feedback and then this is just a digital meter to see it a little bit easier. So this is just 12 volt battery, 1280 and um, I have the scope shot and we're going to fire it up. But, um, these are my prony brakes I've been working on. I've been doing a lot of testing. I actually need to make one more for this size shaft to test this motor, but upcoming videos on prony brake and efficiency. So let's get to it and let's fire this thing up. So this motor self starts uh, with no problem with both circuits. Um, here's our usage right now and our, our output pulses. So a quarter of an amp right now, and um, even at the slow speed, the torque's pretty good for, for such a small rotor. I mean, this is a one inch magnet in there, um, one inch rear earth magnet. So let's just start bringing this up and you can see the how the spikes go. It looks just like an H bridge. Kind of hard to see on the camera, but so bring it up to one amp see what kind of RPM we get at one amp so this is a seven inch prop as the load and, uh, 2200 RPMs this is our output as it's running it's banging away five amps every second or so you can see it go negative on the amp meter and then let's um, bring it all the way up. You can see the change in the waveform. So, 49, right at 5,000 RPMs at full power. We're using uh, almost 6 amps. The output's a little low, but. As soon as we turn it down to get into those spikes, the output starts going pretty good. Anyway, hope you guys liked the update. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.